Hi guys, welcome back in the Laravel video tutorial and in this video tutorial we are going to learn how we can make a, a authentication web token. When you are working with the APIs then there is no such kind of session. So for the user authentication we need a token. For example, a kind of this token. When we just log in we got this token and when we are just making uh, hit the another API then we have to pass this token inside the header okay so how we can do that let's learn with this tutorial so first of all i want to tell you that how many steps we have to do to achieve this okay first of all we need to install the composer package with the name of passport okay and after that we have to change uh, in the config uh, folder in the app.php to uh, add the service provider of the passport then we have to run the migration and install and after that we have to use the we have to do the passport configuration inside the user.php model and uh, we have to add some configuration also into the add service provider.php and then we have to config inside the auth file and we have to create the router and we have to create the controller so that we can write the code here of our apis and we can just run it and after that we will uh, hit the API from the postman and get the token and we will also successfully run that token here okay so these are the all steps and this is my uh, git repository uh, of on the github then you can get the code from here and you can follow the steps from here and you can copy the code also from here so that you can save the lots of time okay so I'm also going to do this because uh, if I'm going to write the whole code, then it will total, uh, around take around 45 minutes to so 60 minutes to reduce the time. I'm just will copy the code from here and use it. Okay. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to uh, install the composer passport package. Okay. So I'm not going to do it properly because I already installed it. Just I'm going to show you and I just open the uh composer.php i already installed my composer package passport composer package here okay so if you want to do this just you have to go in your project and just you need to run this command composer required laravel um, slash password okay so i already installed this so i'm going to stop this to save the time okay so now just go to the next file which is the config.app.php okay just go to the config folder uh, just close all the folder first of all and you will find that uh, uh, app.php file and after the coming here just go at the last and you will see that there's a lots of services are added here so we have to just add one more service here just copy this code simply and add it inside the at the last okay and you will see that there is also uh, many uh, service provider are listed here so just add it here and after that uh, you have to run the migration okay uh, why we need to run the migration because uh, when we just install the passport then it has some migration file also okay so if you want to check that then uh, let's come back here in the database and then just go here then you will see that there is a user table and there is a password reset table are though two tables are here so for that we can run the uh, migration okay so just run the migration here and before that you must have to set your database configuration okay so for that just uh, open the dot env file and here you have to do just three configuration which is the database name and uh, username and the password in my case these are three in your case maybe uh, the database name and username and uh, the password can be blank also but they can be different okay so now just uh, i already said that so just and I want to show you that this is my the database which is the user okay now I'm just going to run the migration 
and you can see that the migration is running here nice a migration is set here now just you can see that you have the uh, some data here and now just open the user file then there is no data for now and we will enter that with this data with the postman after the completing all steps okay and now just go to the user.php this is our uh, model and just just close the vendor and you will find that uh, there should be a user file okay just directly search here user.php inside the app and here you have to add the uh, namespace here for that uh, for the uh, passport configuration and if you want to just copy and paste this file then this is okay otherwise you can change the two or three files also okay but I'm just copying the paste copying and paste the whole file okay now just see that only three uh, namespaces are just added here fine and after doing this just go to the provider and config uh, and auth config service just come here and uh, open to the provider and here you will see that auth, auth service here okay just open this and you have to add the boot function here you can see that there is no boot function uh, but as usual I just copy and paste the whole code because the class name and everything is same here okay now uh, and the fourth stop step just open the auth.php and this is also placed inside the config folder and here you will you need to nothing to change I just have to change in the provider uh, uh, inside the API uh, inside the guard and you, here you have to use the passport okay but uh, you can just copy the code from here it will nice if we just miss the spell or anything else copy copy it up to the guard nice and we and now we have to just go on the API uh, routing file just uh, open the router folder here you will see that the four file just open the api.php and here I already made the uh, we can say that the routers but if you want to change then you can just copy from here and paste here I already made that that I'm not going to change them fine and here you can see that the two URL for the login uh, this is the controller name and a login API and pass a register API and after that uh, we use the detail API which is covered with the API dot uh, auth dot API middleware okay and now just we need to do only uh, two steps now this is the whole huge step we have to create the controller for that I'm just going to open the command prompt and just write here PHP artisan make controller YouTube and you want if you want to change the controller name that's okay okay now now you can see that we already got the controller name now just go to the HTTP and inside the controller and you will see that there is a, a YouTube this is our new controller here now just add some validations here let's copy them okay request is already added so just i'm removing it okay now uh, you can just uh, copy and paste the inside internal code okay just copy it and paste here now let's understand this code first of all just we take the property with the status uh, success status is the 200 then after we make the login function and here we will just check the authentication in the email and the password 
and we will check uh, we will return the token also okay and if there is a no token then we will just uh, tell them this is the unauthorized and after that we just make the registration here we use the validations and after the validations we just check the validation is failed and uh, we just uh, uh, and we just uh, uh, we can say that uh, insert the data inside the user and just create the token also here and the create token is also created in the login in the uh, registration uh, the token will be written in the both apis and last the detail api when we just want to see the detail of user or uh, it can be any api with that we will check that if user is authenticated with this then it will return success otherwise it will not going to return anything and it will will return the token uh, the username and pass uh, username and email address the other things also okay so now just save it now everything is done now just open the postman here so postman let's say first of all uh, just uh, paste the url here just use the post api and uh, localhost registration and we make the urls inside the app in the api.php not in the web so that's why we have to use here api also nice and now we have to add the body with the body what parameters we need to add okay for that uh, let's come the inside the youtube controller then we have to add the name like name equal to Bruce email like Bruce uh, Juice at the rate gmail.com and password password like b at the rate one two three and at the last confirm password and it should be the same okay so just write here b at the rate one two three and just hit the enter here okay so there is some issue let's find the issue what's what what issue we got here uh just give me a moment i'll be, be right back after the checking the error uh sorry for that and i just got the problem actually we did not use the php artisan oh. passport installed because it installed the key uh to generate the token so just I am just going to do that and th this is rewrite here okay so secret key is generated here now what I am doing that now just try to hit the enter and then you can see that we are able to hit the enter and just open the user table then you get the we got the data also here fine so now after doing doing this let's check that is it working or not because we have only one api inside it uh, just open the api route only detail api inside it so just hit the detail api and this is the detail api that i already made so just make it new here so just copy the you are from here and here you can simply write detail and make it the post and we have to put provide the header with the authentication here just write here bearer and with the bearer uh, we have to just copy this token for that just go to the row and copy this token from here and let's hit the enter okay so route is not defined let's check what's the issue with that okay so mm -mm. let's 
okay so this we have to check the authentication we have to write here authentication just hit the enter here then you will see that we got the details here okay the id is 5 and everything we got here fine and if i generate one more token with the name of nilin and password could be at and 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 hit the enter and just copy the token once again because this is a new token the every token will be generated uniquely and it should be it it will be uh, different from the another user fine so just And now you will see that we got the detail of the nilin fine okay so if you want to log in then uh, you can just check the credential from here uh, let's see this is my login oh sorry this is the password and the email address is nilin and let's try then you can see that we still are able to log in here and the token is also here so what if i just made the token wrong here so let's just add something some strange string and you will see that an error here okay so login is not defined it will tell that because the exception is not handled and if you handle the exception then it will you will get the real uh, exception or uh, real message okay so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and the link of this tutorial this uh, repository is also given in the description box so thanks for watching if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks guys thanks for watching this video again